everyone, including you, now has access to Windows Copilot, which is the built-in AI assistant thing that Microsoft have been pushing in the Insider builds, but now it's available to absolutely everyone, and the steps to get it are pretty simple. First of all, make sure you update your Windows to the September 26th or later version, simply by hitting Start, opening up Windows Update, and clicking Check for Updates, then downloading any updates here. To check what version of Windows you're on, hit Start and type in W-I-N-V-E-R, WinVer, and open this up, and it'll give you information about your Windows build. Currently, it's 22621-2361, and this number, or anything above it, you should be able to access Windows Copilot. You know that you have it if you have this icon down here, and clicking it brings up this window here. You can also hit Control c to open this up. But what exactly happens if we don't have this? Well, first of all, open up Start, W-I-N-V-E-R, and make sure you're above this version once more. If you're at this version or above it, then all we need to do is make sure that it's enabled. Hit Start and type in Taskbar, where we'll be opening Taskbar Settings. Inside of here, we'll be looking for Copilot, or Copilot Preview as it's currently named, and make sure that this is turned on. That'll give you this icon down here and the ability to use Start and C in order to open up that sidebar. But what happens if you've updated Windows and you don't have that option? Well, the answer is super simple. We need to enable the setting hidden away in Windows, and there's a very simple tool that can do this for us called Vive Tool. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this page here where we can download Vive Tool. Simply locate the latest release at the very top and look for the zip file over here that doesn't include ARM in the title. So this one here, I'll click it to download it and we'll open it where we'll see all of these files inside of it. What we need to do is extract these to a folder, say on our desktop or anywhere for that matter. I'll call it Vive Tool and we'll drag everything out and into this folder. Opening this folder, we can now delete the zip that we downloaded as we have the program here. What we need to do now is right click at the very top here and choose copy address as text. Otherwise, click, make sure everything's selected and right click copy. With this in hand, we'll hit start and type in terminal where we can open up the terminal as administrator. So right click this and choose run as administrator. If for some reason you don't have the terminal option, simply search for CMD or PowerShell. It does the same thing. Anyways, when it's opened up as admin, simply type in CD space and inside of double quotes, simply paste in the address, double quotes once more and hit enter. This will change this to the correct directory. What you need to do to paste it is either use control V or use right click to paste it in. If for some reason you see that the path doesn't change, simply just hit C colon to change to the C drive, for example, if the start of the path starts with C. Anyways, now that we're in the correct folder, you can see LS, we have a Vive tool here and we're in the correct place. Simply type Vive, hit tab to autocomplete Vive tool, we'll hit space and copy in the command in the description down below. You'll find a PowerShell and a CMD version, it's just a little bit different with these bits of text at the start. So the command is slash enable slash ID colon, followed by these sets of one, two, three, four, five numbers here. Simply hit enter, and when it's done, all you need to do now is reboot your computer, and when you do, you should see that option in your start menu, either down here, or of course, enable it by hitting start, and inside of task bar settings, you'll find it here. Once it's enabled, you can interact with it by clicking it, and you can chat with Bing, choose a version over here, etc., and even get it to interact with your Windows. So I'll ask it, how is the weather in France? Obviously, we could Google for this or chat to it directly using a microphone, but after a few seconds, it'll search Bing for whatever it is and give us back a response, which didn't really help me. But anyways, you get the point. That's how to use Microsoft Copilot or Windows Copilot simply by updating Windows. And of course, if you don't have access to it, you now know how to enable it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.